for the emitter bias network determine ib ic vc vc ve vb and vbc so before going on to the problem let me um, just give an introduction about the dc analysis okay dc analysis of the emitter bias circuit so for the dc analysis what you uh, do you just open circuit the capacitor and just redraw the circuit so you will be getting R E R C R B right R B with V C C okay so now you have to apply the K V L across your input side and your K V L across the output side right in order to find out I C Q and V C E Q okay so considering the input side first let us see the input side applying the K V L what will you get okay so what you will be getting plus vcc it starts from plus vcc so here the polarity is plus to minus and let me assume the current as ib so minus ib rb okay now what is your voltage here minus vbe so it is plus to minus so minus vbe so let me assume the current here as ie right so plus to minus so it is minus ie re is equal to zero so now you know the relationship between ie and ib right so what is your ie and ib so ie is equal to beta plus one into ib when i substitute in the equation you will be getting vcc minus ib rb minus vbe right instead of ie i am going to substitute substitute it as beta plus 1 into ib into re is equal to 0 so you will be getting bcc minus vb <coughs> vb sorry vb minus you are taking ib as common okay so you will be getting rb so you will be getting here plus beta plus 1 into re okay is equal to 0 taking ib to the other side you will be getting vcc minus vbe is equal to ib into rb plus beta plus 1 into re so therefore from here you will be getting ib is equal to vcc minus vbe divided by rb plus beta plus 1 into re so this will be your ib so if you know ib you can find out what is your ic right ic is equal to beta into ib now applying the kvl across the output loop so now you can take the output kvl equation so what you will be getting plus vcc again so it is plus vcc so let me assume the current here as ic here it is plus to minus so minus ic rc right here it is plus to minus so vc so minus vc again here it is plus to minus ie re so minus ie re is equal to zero so what is the relation between ie and ic so you know that ie is approximately equal to ic so vcc minus icrc minus vce minus icre is equal to zero so you can take ic as common minus ic so you will be getting rc plus re minus vce is equal to zero so taking to to the opposite side so vce will be equal to vcc minus ic into rc plus re so this will be your different equations okay so let me start with the first value that is ib so what is your formula for ib ib is equal to vcc minus vb divided by rb plus beta plus 1 into re okay so what is your vcc vcc is equal to 20 volt minus vb is 0.7 divided by rb is given as 430 kilo ohm right 430k plus beta is equal to 50 so you will be getting 50 plus 1 51 
beta plus 1 into re re is equal to 1 kilo okay so you will be getting 20 minus 0.7 um, one second 20 minus 0.7 which is equal to 19.3 divided by 51 plus 430 so you will be getting 481 kilo so for 19.3 divided by 481 approximately you will be getting equal to 40.1 micro ampere therefore ib is equal to 40.1 micro ampere first answer you have got so once you know ib you can calculate what is ic ic is equal to beta into ib so which is equal to 50 into what is your ib 40.1 micro ampere so ib will be equal to sorry ic will be equal to 50 into uh, 40.1 micro ampere which will be approximately equal to 2.01 milliampere so ic is equal to 2.01 milliampere next is your c part so what will be your vce vc is equal to vcc minus ic into rc plus rea right we have solved it so vcc is equal to 20 volt minus what is your ic already you have calculated 2.01 milliampere rc is how much 2 kilo ohm plus r is equal to 1 kilo ohm so 2 plus 1 you will be getting 3 right so 20 volt minus 2.01 milliampere into 3 kilo ohm okay so you will be getting 20 volt minus so 2.01 into 3 kilo ohm so you will be getting 6.03 volt which is equal to 20 minus 6.03 you will be getting 13. 97 volt so your vce will be equal to 13.97 volt okay your c part is done now your uh, d part you have to find out what is the value for vc vc is nothing but the collector voltage uh, the voltage from the collector to the ground right so here you will be getting plus to minus bce and i can take this as ie into re right ie into ie into re so i can write either by first equation can be equal to vc is equal to vc plus ve which is equal to ie re so i can write that vce plus ve is equal to vc okay or i can also substitute the equation is equal to vc is equal to vcc minus ic rc either of the two equations you are going to get the same answer so let us use the first equation so if you have to find out vc using the first equation then you have to calculate what is your ve actually your e part you have already the question so let me write here ve okay parallelly we can do so what is your ve v is equal to what is the value for uh, ve v is equal to ie into re so what is your ie i you know that ie is approximately equal to ic so already you have calculated ic so which will be equal to 2.01 milliampere into re is equal to 1 kilo ohm right so you have ve is also equal to 2.01 uh, volt right 2.01 volt v so now you know that vc is equal to vce plus ve what is your vc already you have calculated it is 13.97 volt so plus ve is equal to 2.01 volt so what will be your calculated value so you will be getting 13.97 plus 2.01 which is equal to 15.98 you will be getting so you will be getting 15.98 volt so that will be your answer of your vc right so you have got vc and your e part also you have got what is your ve now you have to find out what is your vb so oh, that is your f 
which is equal to VB. Now, what will be your VB? VB is nothing but the voltage from the base to the ground, right? So, here you know that it is VBE and here you know that it is IE into RE, so VE. So, your total voltage VB, I can write it as equal to VBE plus VE. So, I can write VB is equal to VBE plus VE. So, you know that VB is equal to 0.7 plus what will be your VE? VE already you have calculated 2.01 volt. So, what will be your value? 0.7 plus 2.01 volt, right? So, which is equal to 2.71. So, VB is equal to 2.71 volt, okay? Now, you have got the F. The last part is uh, directly which you can write. You have to find out the voltage VBC which I can write it as VB minus VC. So, what is your VB 2.71 volt? What is your VC? VC is equal to 15.98 volt. So, what will be your value? 2.71 minus 15.98. 9.8 which is equal to minus 13 point minus 13.27 volt. So that will be your value for VBC.